good. Yeah, good. Somewhere right around there. See, now you can feel that she's thinking of you. Now, if she changes, it's not just going to be physically. And that's, that's the point where you're talking to the mind. Because what the mare would do is if you pulled her head, she'd go like this. She'd put her head over here and keep looking. So you're teaching the horse to be human, which is divide yourself mentally and physically, which is not what horses do when they first come to us. Horse wants to go over there, they go over there. They don't, leave, they don't separate mentally and physically. We do it all the time. Like how many of you haven't thought about supper or lunch or home or something while you're sitting here? We divide ourselves all the time. It creates great tension in us. We don't, we're so used to it. We're so used to the tension. You watch the tension it puts in horses. That's a tension we've learned to dull in ourselves. Good. Now go ahead and walk around. That's going to be hard for her to not want to take in. Turn and face the door. Stop right there. Engage spatially. Just be present. Good. Engage spatially. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. Because as like this is going to be. Don't try to make her not look. But engage the space so you're not. You're not um, very interesting. Just stay calm and, and stay in the space. Yeah, good. Now pet her on the neck. What she has to learn is that this, somehow this is a trigger for her. Somehow there's a sense that that's going to be a thing that's going to create more chaos in her mind for whatever reason. Pet her neck again. Good. And now what you do, Miel, it's just this. Like just be so calm and full in your own space. You're not in trouble. Nothing's changed. So you see right there, if you're too quick with your, now be very careful with your rein. Don't force it. Wait for the change. Wait for the change. See, if you pull and make her head turn, she thinks you're talking to her physical body again instead of her mind. Wait on the thought to change. That's a good start. Now connect and wait for it. That's it, release. Wait for the thought to come. Yes, there, 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 there. Yes. Interesting. But then the question is, I don't care if she struggles. I care how long it takes her to get back. The key is you have to stay the same. You must stay the same as you were. Now engage the shoulder. Yes. Well done. Very nice. See there, you didn't pull on the rein more. And that's a shift from when you started. When she starts to push into you, you want to pull more on that rein. Engage the space. Because she's not trying to leave. She's trying to talk to you. And when you recognize she's trying to talk to you, and then you talk to her about what she cares about, it's like you're addressing the need. Right. So I love that. I love that she struggled. And I love that she got to experience that you're going to now engage the shoulder. Feel the shoulder. Yes. Yes. Really good. And then that's when you start, now stay connected to the thought. Just stay connected. Try not to be so firm with your hand. Just move with her. Good. Walk with her if she needs to. Now we're slightly back at the beginning where we're addressing that same state. Just stay, yeah, until you feel the thought shift. That's it. And then walk again. Ask, let her walk now. Now come to the left. Stay connected. Stay connected. Yeah, you're doing fine. Good. See, she's like... How many ways can I move my head for you to release my head so I can go back to thinking about what I was thinking about? So if you can't get that change, again, you can't get flexion. It just, you can't get flexion if the thought wants to leave. Because look at what she's doing with her pole. And that's enacting her right hind. Yeah, you're doing fine. Just stay connected and wait. All of a sudden the thought will come and walk on. There you go. What you're, to you're saying to her, I'm talking to what you were thinking about. Now use the space. Yeah, just stay very calm. But yes, yes. So now you see that shoulder. There we go, right there. Did you feel the change? Okay, this is a needs conversation. It's all about the needs. And the two needs that we're prioritizing, mind and space. Pressure is not the need we're working on. That'll come soon. She is a pressure horse. Um, but if you start applying pressures right now, she already showed you what she's going to do if pressure pops up too quick. She can't think through that pressure yet. So the horse walked by and that caused her to stand on her back legs. She's going to deregulate if you play with too much pressure right now. So you have to answer what is most connectable, which is the mind thought, the kind of dealing with the thought, and then gently dealing with space. Once those layers peel off, we'll start talking about pressure. That might come tomorrow. It might not even come as clinic, because it's about building legs. When you're ready, try that side again. Yes, well, she's, she's, she's pressure stimulated. So she gets ready to defend herself with pressure. But we can't communicate with her on pressure yet because she's too deregulated. Good, stay connected. Yeah, see, see, if you push on that too hard, she's going to deregulate. Just stay connected to it, Miel. You're doing fine. Yep, good. Just stay calm. See, what, what would create an argument right now is if you started to up your ante on that. 
Stay connected and yeah, yeah, well done. Do, there you go. Now walk. Good. As soon as you see that thought, come to the left. You almost had it. It was almost there. Just wait. Yeah, there it is. And walk. Well done. Okay. The difference is she understands she's in control. If you just make her turn, you're not giving the control to her state of mind, like what her mind did. You talk until the thought changes. Stay, yeah, don't ask her to soften. Don't ask her to soften. Look for the thought first, because all she's going to do is put her head down and keep staring. See how she never, that's it. You, you see the thought, make sure the thought changes. Come on in when you're ready. Okay, yeah. So let her look. So I'd turn and let her look. Yep, stop right there. Put your hand on her shoulder and pet her. Show her how you feel about this horse. Yeah. Good. Stay very calm. Good. And then just find your space. Yeah, that's it. Right there and wait now. Yep, perfect. You see, all of these are expect expected... Um, it's all expectations of how she's going to be treated when she does a thing. Just don't do anything. But that doesn't mean you recede. Okay? People think that, that I'm allowing this behavior, you know, if I don't deal with it. But, okay, the only reason she's doing it is because she's expecting to get in trouble because of a thing. So, Miel, you just stay, that's it, exactly, feel your space, stay very calm, good, yes, good, yeah, right there, well done. So, what you do is you change nothing. Does my space recede? Not even an inch does my space. I do not stop being very aware of myself. Good. <laughs> it's so funny. Because she's very, she's very strong that this needs to be dealt with. But what you teach her is you teach her that there's a different way to deal with it. So then what I would say, Miel, is that before you leave, you, you would just try to have some of this conversation again so that she would, she would realize that the, the world is the same. Just walk, let her walk, like kind of walk with her, let her move. Yeah, good. Good. Just stay with her, stay with her. Keep walking, keep moving. Move your feet. Yep, yep, good, good. So if energy needs to move, I'm going to show it a way to move. That just embarrassed her. Keep walking, keep walking. If you can, yep, yep. So if she changes directions, just go that way. But what I'm saying is, show her where to put the energy in a positive way. So what she does is, now, now change directions. Yep, that's it. Move with her. You got it. You got it. Good. Good. Stay very, yep. And then go that way. Well done. And then try to still be spatially aware. It's interesting how another horse deregulates her. That's interesting. See, we're learning so many things about her based on the things that happen. Now stay connected to the thought. That's it. Yeah, good. Now, can she let go of that horse to you? Stay, don't, don't pull anymore. Stay right there. Because see, if you pulled more, um, all she's going to do is put her head left and probably rear again. Because she's like, I can't let go of that. Well, then her body goes to her thought. There you go. Good. So just take the conversation away from the physical form. Talk only to the mental form. Connect with your rein a little deeper until you feel her mind starting to become, that's it, good, good. Now let her walk again. Well done, yeah. So that's the first, the first time really she actually let the horse go. Uh, before then, what would she do? When she thought she wanted to hold on to a thought, she had to rear to, to, to protect the thought. Well, pretty soon she realizes that's actually not even, it's not even doing anything. She's not getting in trouble. There's no physical conversation, that's it. Now, go to your left and wait for the thought to come. Wait right there. Wait for the thought to come to the left. Stay connected. Yes, stay connected. Yeah, right there. Yes. Okay. Ah, that's it. There we go. There's the change. Can you feel it? So what we're earning in her right now, she's bringing up an old tape. Okay, everybody does this. Somebody says a certain thing a certain way, and it irritates you. So all of a sudden you're defensive, and, and the person doesn't even know why. But it triggered you. Okay, that was a trigger to the mirror on the belief that she said, I, if I'm going to deal with this, I'm going to have to protect myself to do it. Okay, well, if you just take that conversation away, I'm not even going there. Well, so she doesn't have to protect herself anymore. 